Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to cover introduction to the course Core Java Fundamentals Learning by Coding. So, this session covers computer hardware and operating system, what is CPU, system software versus application software. language that is closest to the computer hardware what is programming what is computer science what is java java applications in real world why is the cup of coffee a symbol of java what is JVM and JVM supported languages. At the end of this lecture, I have a quiz for you. References and summary. So let us get started. Computer hardware and operating system. What exactly these are? Hardware consists of physical parts or components of a computer. Let us look at it, Wikipedia here, for a quick definition or what, are, what exactly it is. So, computer hardware includes physical parts of the components of a computer such as CPU, monitor, keyboard, computer data, storage, graphics card, sound card and motherboard. If you can see, this is a motherboard. So, by contrast, by contrast software is instructions that can be stored and run by the hardware hardware is directed by the software to execute any command or instruction any combination of hardware and software forms a usable computing system we have various computer architectures one of them popular is the one human architecture we have many components many other sub components to the computer like power supply motherboard and memory random access memory read only memory and so on we have also storage devices additional storage we can do we can add if that is supported we have supercomputers and so on So here is the high level structure of the computer. What exactly is computer, right? The central part of the computer is central processing unit or in short CPU. It will have access to RAM, hard disk drive, CD. Uh, nowadays, uh, hard disk drive is being replaced popularly by S. Uh, SD drive so and externally we have keyboard mouse other inputs like peripherals in the also the other peripherals are monitor printer speakers and so on so operating system is a type of software mounted on top of the hardware so you can see the high level diagram here so hardware is here what we have covered here hardware is here then we have program control io file system communications error management resource auditing and security system calls happens over here then we have user interface this is a part of operating system if you can see operating systems uh, such as uh, windows mac linux unix and so on to name a few and then we have user programs whatever the programs we write are the programs that goes here we will cover more in detail in the next slides so what is cpu it stands for central processing unit it sits on the motherboard it processes your program instructions sequentially 
Okay, here is a diagram. So is a, here is a logical diagram. We have ports, inputs, devices, output devices, input from input devices, data is fed. Output devices, after data is evaluated by the computer, it is sent out to the required devices. And here is a motherboard. We have read only memory. We have processor chip. We have CD-ROM. We have floppy drive, but those are not being used nowadays. But still we have DVD drives and so on and uh, a bus which is connected to random access memory and hard drive or hard drives are being replaced by solid straight drives or ssds nowadays because they are faster and there are no moving parts as compared to hard drive which contains moving parts so which are slow which are slower than solid state drives So if you see here, we have system software versus application software. What are the differences? Let's start with the definition. System software, operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Unix, right? They manage computer resources like memory, network, and so on. What is application software? Program or group of program designed for the end user like Microsoft Word, web browsers, spreadsheets, and so on. So if you can see hardware is here in the base, and then we have operating system, then we have application software here, right? And then we have user here and user programs. Let's look at the definition here. application software right so here we have application software like word processing spreadsheets graphics databases communications games etc whereas system software uh, which is the foundation of the application software will have file management tools operating system itself and uh, utilities compilers debugger assembler right and everything sits on the computer hardware so let us go back language that is closest to the computer right we are talking about language because that is important machine language is the closest to the hardware since it does low level bit manipulations deals with interrupts memory access so the machine code is understood by the hardware parts of operating system drivers bios are handwritten in assembly language by real life computer programmers then comes a level of abstraction with a high level languages such as c java c sharp etc conversion to assembly or machine language is done by the compilers of the specific high level language assembly language is more human readable than machine language which which deals with bits and bytes assembly language is converted to machine language by the assembler the process is called as assembly which is processed by the processor and is processed to the output back to the levels it started from. Hope it is makes sense. Even though if it doesn't make sense, we will move on. You can read it, but we will cover more. So what is pseudocode? 
pseudo code for example it's simply a tool translates actions to directions so for example what are the steps that takes to chew the chewing gum there are many steps number one take gum out of pack unwrap gum from fingers take gum in fingers life gum to mouth and so on it could go on and on right it can be a rough draft of your program or steps it's in simple english it doesn't have syntax and semantics doesn't need to it is not understood by any compiler since it does not follow syntax and semantics whereas programming languages do follow the syntax and semantics what is programming set of instructions written to formulate a program to solve a specific problem that is compiled to binary machine language assembly language executed by the computer to achieve the desired outcome examples of programming languages are such as fortran pascal cobol c c++ c sharp java javascript sql plsql and others types of languages procedural versus object oriented these are the two high level categorizations of programming languages some of the different areas of the programming assembly language or assembly programming game engine programming physics engine programming graphics engine programming artificial intelligence programming sound programming gameplay programming mobile and web programming database programming and others there are, so there it means like simply it, there are a number of different areas of programming right so most of the people deal with web programming database programming but many other people also deal with many other software engineers deal with also graphics engine artificial intelligence nowadays game engine and so on it doesn't mean other areas of programming are left out but all are being still worked upon and improved upon on daily basis some of the job roles requiring information technology degrees systems administrator business analyst network engineer technical support analyst programmer analyst software engineer application programmer software architect system programmer or engineer systems analyst product specialist solution specialist technical designer etc all these roles could vary based on one or more programming languages databases web or mobile development network type and others hope it makes sense sorry we will not cover the salaries here i will leave it to you to do the research let us move on what is programming let us continue at a high level so you have a problem so what is and why programming right you have a problem you want to solve it as at the end so how do you do that right that is where programming comes into picture it will have a set of steps which you write right it can be converted to flow chart for your understanding at a high level then we have programming language here this is algorithm right and or a pseudo like pseudo language pseudo code language and this one is a programming language which is understood by the particular languages compiler and central processing unit cpu right so your program will be converted to bits and bytes that are understood by the hardware and when it is run it will solve your problem in a required fashion what is computer science 
Computer science deals with theoretical foundations of information and computation together with practical techniques for the implementation and application of those foundations. We have a reference quick check. So computer science is a study of theory, exper experimentation and engineering that form the basis for the design and use of computers, right? So it is the scientific and practical approach to computation and its applications and the systematic study of feasibility, structure, expression and mechanization of methodical procedures. We have some history here, you can read it. Charles Babbage, he was the father of computing. Also, the first programmer was Ada Lovelace. She was credited with writing the first algorithm internet for processing on the computer. Also, we have earlier computers. So, you can read about it. So, their applications and so on. So, let us move on. Human computer interaction, right? Computer graphics, information visualization, databases, computer security, protecting computer systems from attack, networking, computer simulations, artificial intelligence, robotics, computer vision, software engineering, games programming, global positioning, weather prediction models, data mining, extract information from huge amounts of data. That is what is the definition of data mining. We have web services, mobile and web development and others. So all of these areas require programming skills. So this is very important. What is Java? So Java is not about an island in Indonesia, which is popular among tourists. It is a general purpose, simple programming language. It is an object-oriented, class-based, interpreted, secure, portable, high-performance, multi-threaded, platform-independent. And so it is a platform-independent language. It can run on any operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux, Unix, etc. So you may ask what will be the file extensions or how does it exist? How does it represent it on the file system? So the file extensions of uh, Java source programs or compiled um, compiled versions are .java is the source which you write. .java is the file name extension which you write, right? That will be stored in .java file. Appropriate file name will be here named. We have, when you compile Java, then it will be converted to dot class file and also we can package dot class files into dot jar files these are compressed forms of java files or compiled code first version was 1.0 released in february 1995 it was originally developed by james gosling at sun microsystems now owned by Oracle Corporation, it is used to develop web and mobile based applications. It was initially started with Oak, then Green and finally Java due to consumption of lot of quantities of coffee, many say, and the cup and the coffee cup and saucer. Both were a part of logo. Uh, it, both are a part of lo java logo latest download you can always check here java.com en download so let us move on java applications real world java applications in the real world 
Java is most widely used programming language in the world today per TIOBE index. It is verbose, fast, secure, portable across operating systems and memory efficient with garbage collection feature. The number of users and Java projects keep growing constantly. Some statistics to back up. Java 8 is used by 54 in by 54.6 applications, 54.6 percentage of applications today. Java 7, 40.8, and the least used is Java 6, 4.6 percentage. And we have Tomcat that is being used in the market in the server market by 86.9% of servers. MySQL 48.3%. Java 9 release is the latest. We are not we are not covered that is not covered in this course. So you can have a quick look at TIOB index for your curiosity. Java is used to create core applications, desktop applications, web-based applications, mobile and applications, mobile mobile applications and support it on many other types of devices, software and operating platforms. Popular application servers are Oracle's WebLogic, IBM's WebSphere, Apache's Tomcat, Google's Android development platforms support it too. During the course, I will support you with the theory and concepts, hands-on demos, quizzes, programming, exercises and assignments to challenge you as a part of learning process. Why is the cup of coffee a symbol of Java? You might ask, right? So let us address it. During its invention, lots of coffee was consumed. Therefore, the iconic cup of Joe was made a symbol. Let us look at how the symbol looks from this link. So let us search. Yeah, here is a logo. This is how it looks a cup, a saucer, and so on. This is exactly this. That's the logo. All right, hope it makes sense. Let us move on. What is JVM or Java Virtual Machine at high level? It is a runtime environment for the Java programs and other supported programming languages. One instance of it is required to run a Java program. For example, Java is when you run at your prompt Java Hello World, we will cover this later. So it, run, it launches a JVM and a program is launched onto that JVM instance. So in this case, one JVM for one program. So here is the JVM architecture. So whatever you write the source code uh, by your hand, right, or a generated code, so it will be stored in .java file with the .java extension file that is uh, inputted to the compiler Java C. Java C is a compiler for Java programs. Then that will be converted to Java byte code that is star dot class files and star char files. That is supplied to the JVM and stack memory and the heap memory will take care of it. How? Stack memory will hold method calls, parameters, and return values. Whereas heap memory holds the object, objects and their attributes values. RT.jar is the compressed jar file which comes with a JDK or Java development kit. So after this happens native instructions are executed in the platform operating system such as linux windows mac unix and so on hope it makes sense let us move forward jvm supported languages apart from java there are number of other languages that are supported by jvm let us look at them So we have, apart from Java, we have Clojure, Groovy, JRuby, Jython, Kotlin, Scala, and so on. These all languages are supported by 
JVM. But each of the compiler's commands will be different. So, but we are not going covering all of those, but compiler of Java will be covered. How to compile a Java source code and so on in next slide or in the next section. Also, we have a quiz at the end of the section. You can attempt them at the end of this lecture. Summary. So, this lecture covered computer hardware and operating system. Then we have covered central processing unit, programming, computer science, about Java, JVM and supported languages.